Hi there, my name is Marcus. In this video, we are going to be talking about good pair days. I also want to show you the sign up process. I want to show you uh, certain aspects of good pair days that I think are really good, whether you're a wine connoisseur and you consider yourself an expert, or if you're brand new to wine, I think good pair days is a excellent um, place for people to go that want to learn about wine. They want to drink more wine they haven't drunk before. So in this video, I'm going to go through the sign up process for you to show you what it's like. I want to show you within the dash dashboard what it looks like. And I also want to explain to you how you can get access to the referral bonus that you can get by signing up through the link in the description below that will give you access to a $100 value sign up bonus by using that link. So we're going to dive straight in here and we're going to go in and check out the, the sign up process first to show you what it's like when you sign up, whether you do that on a phone or a desktop is going to be very similar. It's going to be the same process. It's going to look different when you do it on a phone or on the desktop. So we'll dive into that straight away. So when you click the link in the description below, you're going to get taken to a page that looks like this, whether that is on a phone or, or on a computer. And one thing they want to look for is in down the corner here, we'll say referral code applied. The reason why this is important is because this referral code uh, is a way for this company to generate new customers from existing customers by having them refer other people. And that will give you access to additional bonuses when you sign up uh, because you sign up through that link. When you want to get started, you simply click get started and then you have to call, give them a name and we're going to put in a dummy name here. So it's going to be John Doe. OK, we're going to click go and that's going to take us to the next step in the process. Uh, and then it says nights. Um, you know, you've got a little welcome screen there. And then this is what's really good about good pair days, in my opinion. They cater to you, whether you're a complete newbie to wine or if you're a budding wine connoisseur who knows their stuff. So for in my case, I know a fair bit about wine already only because I've been lucky enough to work with people who know a lot about wine, not because I'm a self-proclaimed expert by any means. So I'm going to go with the middle option here. Uh, and then they are going to go through and um, ask you a few questions depending on which level you've picked here. And this is important. If you are a newbie, don't pretend like you're not. Be honest because you're going to get a better experience if you're honest in the sign up process. So assume that you'd never gain a kilo. If you could only eat one of these chocolates for the rest of your life, which would it be? This might seem like a strange question, but they're going to use this question and the answer that you provide to then cater the recommendations that they give you. And they're going to ask you more questions like this. So in this case here, I love dark chocolates. So I'm going to press dark. Uh, your favorite breaking spot, you already caffeinated, but now need a little something to sip on. What do you go for? Coconut water, fresh, pre pre fresh pressed use juice, or a delicious smoothie? I would go for a cool coconut water, especially if it's warm. I will live in Western Australia in Perth. It's generally warm here, so we're going to go cool coconut water. The next question is, work's finished and you head down to the new bar. Everyone's been talking about, but they only have these three cocktail drinks on the menu. Which one would you choose? Well, in my position here, I am very torn between these two, but... I'm going to go mojito because nine times out of 10, that's an easier drink to make and do it well. So we're going to pick that. You've been given magic everlasting bowl of fruit. Uh, which three do you choose? Okay, so I like cherry red plum. I like lemon lime and I like melon. So we're going to pick those. Okay, with or without Vegemite, it's your choice. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a butter guy, right? Uh, when in doubt, add butter. So we're going to not be shy and we're going to butter it, up, butter it up, baby. Okay. This is a very important question. If you could only choose, if you could only have one scoop of the options below, which would it be? For me, it's going to be a refreshing lemon sorbet. So we're going to click that. And then, so you're doing really well. Only a few important questions left. Click anywhere to continue. The evening's winding down. You have a little room left in your belly. Which do you go for? In my case, it's always going to be the cheese because I'm a fiend for cheese and I can always have cheese before, during or after dinner. It doesn't matter. So we're going to go cheese. In my case, I am more of a, a red drinker than I am anything else. Um, and I probably coming into winter, it's probably going to be dominant that way. So I'm going to go two reds and then one white. And then we're going to continue. This is also an important question because it's going to decide how much you're going to be spending uh, as a total on your subscription every month. And obviously you can go in and into Good Pair Days, into the dashboard or into the app, and you can adjust how many bottles you want, how much you want to spend on each individual bottle and so on and so forth. So this is not going to be an end, be all end all because you can change all this later. But we're going to say it's a Friday evening. I'm I'll probably be looking to spend between 26 and $35 for a bottle because I want something that's decent enough, but I don't want to spend a fortune on it. So that's what we're going to do. So am I the kind of person who likes to try new things or do I stick to what I know? I like to try new things and that's 
part of the reasons why I'm using this service myself because it makes it really easy for me to try these new wines. So that's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna put an email in here. I'm gonna just click that one and we're gonna click discover your wines. Then it's gonna create your account and you're gonna, you're not finished with the signup process. Yes, of course, you haven't ordered anything. You haven't put any payment details in yet. So when you get to the screen, you're going to see the first three recommendations that you've been given by Good Pair Days. And this is going to com like completely depend on the answers that you put in in the question questionnaire process that you went through when you signed up, okay? So as you can see here in my case, it's one Bal uh, Malbec, it's one Bonarda, it's one Pinot Grigio, okay? Because I picked two reds and one white. If you wanted to change this, uh, because let's say you don't like Pinot Grigio or you think you don't like Pinot Grigio because there's a big misconception there where a lot of people think they don't like them because they think they're sweet and blah, 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 but they're generally they don't have to be sweet. So we're going to click edit and then you can either, you can delete it, you can refresh to get a new recommendation uh, in the same price, same price, color and price tier, okay? Or you can get a new recommendation if you want to change this to like a red or a rosé or a sparkling wine. Or you can also build your own box and there's other options there. But let's click refresh. So then it's going to pick another white for me. Uh, it's going to be a Riesling blend, uh, which is probably more to my liking in general. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, and then if you add another bottle, you get free shipping. So I obviously sh suggest that you add another bottle because otherwise you're going to end up paying $9 in shipping. If you add another bottle, let's say that's a f another $15 bottle of wine instead of 29, you're gonna get uh, you know, free shipping instead of paying nine for it. Another important thing to note here is that you're getting your $100 uh, welcome pack for free, which contains the cheese board cooler and a waiter's friend. And you only get that if you use the sign up uh, link in the description below, which is a referral link. If you don't use that, I actually don't think you get this, but I might be wrong too, so don't don't hold me to that. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. Uh, and then you can add uh, or change the wines uh, as you please. And you can also add and change the wines uh, at any point uh, through through this process because it is a subscription service. You can also pause it whenever you like, right? So, uh, and then you, all you need to do is you, you, know, you click checkout, you fill out all your details, uh, and then you will get your box shipped to you. And it's a pretty quick shipping, except if you live in Western Australia, because we have a lot of issues at the moment with the, uh, you know, flooded, flooded um, train lines and whatnot. So there's a little bit of a delay there, but generally it's pretty quick anyway. And because it gets shipped to you, it doesn't really matter, does it? So next, I want to show you a little bit of, of the dashboard and show you what it looks like. So one thing that's cool about uh, Good Pair Days is that you get points for, uh, not only for each uh, subscription box that you buy, you get points for uh, for rating the wines and for for it being for basically for using the platform you get different points and then you can actually spend those points uh, in uh, their rewards store which you can see here so you can buy uh, the corkscrew you can add a wine stopper you can you know get a wine carrier you can get a bucket hat you can get a beach towel uh, you can get uh, the stackable wine glasses a beach bag t-shirts uh, the, the cooler is worth 1500 points, which you will get for free if you use the referral link below uh, and much more stuff like that. And the onboarding process is also really cool. I can't show you that because I've already gone through the onboarding process myself or most of it, I should say. But within that onboarding process, they encourage you to learn about wine. So this is one thing that's part of the onboarding process here. So they have a bunch of um, guides called Wine 101. So you'll learn about the main style. You'll learn about how wine is made, made, how you should store and how you should pour your wine because no, believe it or not, it's not as simple with all wines used to pour it into a glass. Uh, depending on if they have lees or sediment or if they're sparkling, there's different uh, guidelines for how you should pour them for, to have the best experience when you drink the wine. There's a bunch more there. And then there's, there's also further, you can go into grape varieties. You can go into regional, region guides, tasting guides, um, uh, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff in the platform. If you want to learn more about wine, they get access to as a member. The, they also have uh, a Wine 101 e-course uh, where you can basically level up your wine log knowledge in four, just four weeks. And this goes quite in depth uh, where they talk about how, how to taste wine, how wine is made, you know, Again, a lot of uh, similarities to, to the previous uh, Wine 101 just guides that they have, but this is a lot more in depth. And as you go through this, you earn points, you earn badges. The badges are probably less relevant, but the points will actually allow you to use those points to purchase stuff in the store. Uh, and in general, I, I really think they've done a good job with the dashboard. Uh, you can see here when your next billing is going to be, which in my case is on the 5th of June, they'll bill me again. And you can see the recommendations for days uh, before that 
uh, billing happens and you'll get notifications on your email. You also get notifications in the app if you have that on your phone and the app is also really good. Uh, and I just wanted to like kind of go through this process for you so you can see what it's like before you commit. And I just want to say, I think it's really cool to have a, a service like this because my problem is that I always go to the bottle shop and I always buy, buy the same wine that I know that I like. I think beforehand that I'm going to try something new and then I end up leaving with the same bottle of wine that I always buy. So this is a good and easy way for me to not only learn more about wines because you get um, these uh, really nice uh, high quality prints of the individual wines and uh, recommendations of for food pairings, you know, and, and just general information on the wine, which you don't get when you buy a wine in the bottle shop. And you're not paying more for these wines because you buy them through Good Pair Days. You're paying the same amount of money as you would retail. And you also get access to certain winemakers that might not be accessible in the big bottle shops like uh, Dan Murphy's and others uh, that might only be available in the smaller uh, more independent wine stores um, or, or bottle shops uh, usually. So it's a good and easy way to get access to wines that you probably wouldn't be exposed to otherwise if you always go to Dan Murphy's. So if you want to check out and grab that uh, $100 value bonus yourself, click the link in the description below. And if you have any questions about good pair days and other things that you want to learn about it, please make sure you leave them below and I uh, will be happy to make another video explaining anything that you have questions about. Uh, or answer them below if I can just give you a, a quick and easy answer there. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out Good Pair Days through the link in the description below. And if you do, I really appreciate it because I do obviously uh, have a benefit in doing so. I get extra points within Good Pair Days if you do. Um, and uh, I really appreciate it if you do. And make sure you to like and subscribe for future videos. And uh, I appreciate you taking time watching this. And I'll see you in the next video.